Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's currently 4.55 right now. And me and this guy, we are on our way to the city. We are currently drive to Queens Bottom Bridge that we are gonna be running in a bit. We are ready to race. We are ready to have fun. We are ready to enjoy 26.2 miles. Made it to the bus line and let me tell you, it's been a while I don't see this place as crowded as today. It's amazing to see New York City Marathon fully back again. It's, this place is crowded. I think we're gonna, it, it feels like we're gonna break the 53,000 people record today. Clothing Look, on the bridge. And Spider Man running with us this year. The letter on the left. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Adidas run is on three. Yeah. On three. Yes. Let's check that nylon. Just saw Daniel Zin restart the race with those athletes. And this is the sound of the first wave. They just started. That's the experience you have. We can see them all there at the top. Woo! We got goosebumps. All right. We're about to start. We're about to go. And uh, I promise I'm not gonna cry at the finish line. You are going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to You are. Cruise on your mark. Woo! Very fucking hot. Woo. It's hotter than what I was expecting. I'm already sweating a lot. Let me see. This at the five chain bar. It's gonna be brutal. It's gonna be a very, very hard race, but we got this. Woo. Let's go. Five miles in, 42 minutes. It's almost time to eat. We're gonna start opening and wait for the next water station. But uh, feeling good, but I don't know how it's gonna be at the end of the shit because again, it's very hot and very humid. Everybody's dying out here. But we got this. It's New York, baby. We got this. Let's go.
10 miles in. Just passed by the Adidas Runners cherry station. But uh, it's been good. It's really, really hard. Very, very hot, very humid. I don't think I'm gonna do my race PR today. But today's not a PR day. Today's a day to go, complete the race, and that's it. Bro, y'all. Thirteen miles in. Almost halfway through. I can see the halfway point. A lot. Sergio. Not about anything else thing to do for this race. Pace. It's like 9:30, 10. Forget about breaking my PR. First time that I'm like I'm already done with the race halfway through. Usually, I feel like this. After Pittsburgh Bridge, and now I'm already dying right here. I can have weight here. One of the hardest URC marathons in years. Alright. Halfway token now. Let's go, y'all! Halfway through! Let's go! We got this! We got this! We got this! Halfway through. Let's go. The hardest part of the race for me. I just saw Wepa, so that gave me some energy, but still, Chris Motor Bridge with this heat. No, no. Almost there. Round the crest of the bridge. Now, you should be down with my body asking me to walk But I'm gonna push you a little bit. Uh, shit. Alright.
Coco is about to happen. It's start to rain. It's the only thing you really need right now. Some rain. Oh shit. Some water pump. Wait, wait. Yes. Yes. Uh, and some rain coming up. Please. Please. We all need some rain right now. Why? It wasn't like this the whole time. We are on. Mile 17. Welcome to Central Park. Get your medal. We're gonna get you the bed. We're gonna pull you off. A nice bath or the boots. Yes, the boots. No problem, man. No, no rough. It's very humid out. The hottest marathon, New York City marathon. Oh. Fucking miserable. No. My worst New York City marathon ever. Hot, rainy. The rain, the rain was not the worst part. No. The rain was actually like, eh. I can take a little bit of that, but like the, the heat, oh. so fucking hot, so humid. Mile 9 felt like 13. Yes. And did not need to. No. I was already done by 9 9. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we did it. I we did it. it. <laughs> yes. As soon as I saw no. Adidas, I was done. Yeah. But that's it. We did it. Who's coming? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like crazy because it was a crazy marathon and uh was one of the hardest New York City marathons ever. Super hot, super humid. At the end, it was raining a little bit, so it's a, it was a little bit better. 
but it doesn't matter because it started raining when I was mile 17. So the whole fucked up thing, it was already done, you know? Like by mile nine, I was destroyed, destroyed. I've never felt that bad before reaching halfway through in a marathon. But hey, I did it right here. My beautiful baby that I'm gonna wear today, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because it was hard. It was very, very hard. So, free beer, free, cheers. That's it, that's it. Here's my baby, New York City Marathon 2022. I already have my name engraved. Wesley Cordeiro, three hours, 59 minutes and 48 seconds. As I already said, it was a really, really tough race. It was a really tough day, but it's here. I did it. I was trying to go for a much better time than this, but the weather conditions, you already know, everybody's talking about that. It was impossible to do any goal. I was feeling sick, like got a cold last Wednesday, so I still have a few symptoms. So I wasn't in my best shape on Sunday, but uh, I'm glad that I was able to finish, you know. It's crazy because when I finished Chicago Marathon, my coach, he thought I could do 322 in New York City Marathon. And I was like, nah, man, are you fucking crazy? He was like, nah, you can do it. And I was like, all right, back. I was gonna do it, but then 10 days before New York, we saw the weather and he was like, all right, let's be re reasonable. It's way too hot. You're gonna do between 340, 345. But then I got sick. So I was still gonna try to do 340, 345. And I had that on me until mile nine. After mile nine, forget about it. I was just enjoying the race, enjoying the city because it's New York. It's my favorite marathon in the whole world. The vibes are amazing. The city is amazing. Running through 26.2 miles in this city is one of the most incredible things you can do. And wait for next year. I will be running 2023 New York City Marathon again because I have in my mind as long as I'm living in New York City, I'm gonna be doing New York City Marathon every year. Why? Because if you do 15 New York City Marathons in a row, you are qualified forever. You don't have to do 9 plus 1, you don't have to do lottery, you don't have to do charity. Your name is there. You only have to pay and that's it. You are in every year for the New York City Marathon. But in order to do that, you gotta do 15 years in a row. It's tough, I'm gonna do it. Next year is gonna be my fourth year. That's it. And the uh, marathon season is over. No, nope, not over. This was the last major marathon in the world. I'm glad that the season is over for me. I might be in Philly in two weeks for the half and the full marathon. I'm not gonna, sh I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to stay for the full marathon because I gotta do a volunteer in the city to run the 2023 marathon. But I might be there Friday, Saturday, you know, just for the vibes, see everybody out there and maybe run the half marathon, we'll see. That's it, like this video, subscribe to see more, you know what you guys wanna see on this off season on my YouTube channel. What was your marathon goal this year? Did you reach your goal or you're gonna try again next year? Let me know, peace.